All right, Aaron Parker, Parker Sinks and Vault, Shelbyville, Tennessee. American securities gun safes. Uh, you don't hear much about them. Uh, they don't have a big marketing campaign like some of the other companies do, but these guys make a pretty impressive safe. And I just thought I'd go over some of the reasons why you might consider these uh, when you're looking for a gun safe. A lot of gun safe companies out there, uh, some good, some maybe marginal. These guys, to me, do a really fine job on, on, on their products. So um, if you're an American security employee, uh, you know, whether it be a painter or a designer or the guy that uh, packages them up, you guys can be proud that uh, you, you work for a company that, uh, that makes a good product. So I appreciate that. Um, some of the things to look for, I mean, when I'm looking or when I think about a safe, you know, what does it weigh right off the bat? I mean, like if it's a lightweight safe, well, you know, we almost know it's not going to have much steel in it, right? So this safe is 66 inches tall, 36 inches wide. It is the BF2, so it's kind of their upper end gun safe, but it's going to weigh 1,716 pounds. So probably five or 600 pounds more than most of the safes out there that of the same size, you know, when we're dealing with competition. Uh, secondly, you know, if you just look at the form and fit and, and the paint, um, they really do a nice job on it. There's no, I've never had a paint blemish, not one single paint blemish. And I can't say that uh, about some of the other companies I've dealt with, but these guys just do a nice job. And when I say blemish, I'm talking something that, uh, you know, that the painter did or the, you know, imperfection in the, uh, they didn't prep it right or something like that and get rust coming through or something like that. Never had a problem with these. I've had some scuffs, of course, from, you know, freight damage and things like that but they do come with touch-up paint for free. So that's different. Um, door gaps, right? That's a quick thing to just look at. You know, how much do they care about their door gap and how much how much slop is in there, you know, or, you know, um, how much of a gap can you create when you, when you pull on that handle, right? And on these, uh, usually when they come from the factory, there's really none, but there is a little, uh, a really cool little adjustment. It's like a wedge and you unloosen a screw you can slide that wedge up just a little bit and tighten the screw back up. And what that does is it catches one of these bolts and just kind of pulls the door in tight. So if you've got a like older American security or something and it's a little bit loose, you should be able to uh, tighten that up. But the door gaps, I, I couldn't think of anything on camera to use, but I've got just a regular key here. But if you look at this key, um, can't get the key in there. Um, Okay, on the hinge side, we got a little bit, but just barely enough for the key. Same thing here on the, on the strike side. Um, not enough for two keys, two keys to measure, or, or two keys together. I measured it's about three sixteenths of an inch. So, so less than three six, I would say, or less than three sixteenths. And it's really just a hair more than one key, all right? But, so that's, <laughs> That's pretty good. Bolt works. Um, everything is, you know, nice and smooth. There's no, um, there's no problem with the bolt works. It's real smooth. This has a, a real uh, uh, quick travel on it, um, just because it's the BF series or the BF2. Uh, but lifetime warranty on these, and that that's that's no cost to the consumer. So if you had, you know, God forbid, a attempted break in or a fire and the safe gets damaged or destroyed, they'll get you a new safe and they're not going to charge you for freight to have a, uh, your dealer rep or somebody come out and exchange those. You're not going to pay anything. All right. So really good warranty on it. Uh, all the shelving is adjustable. So, and it's also padded, right? I think I've talked about that a few times in the past. Let me find a way to explain that a little better, maybe. But if you look at this, this is foam in here, right? I don't know how well that's doing. But anyway, there's foam in there, and that covers all sides of the all sides of the shelving. This particular piece is a metal piece that's just used for covering the gun slots, and there's two of those, uh, or as many needed in, in every safe. Uh, so you can do all shelving if you want. So the other cool thing uh, down on the bottom here, let me just do this. Okay, getting there. Down on the bottom, this has been well thought out. So this, this floor panel is flush with the bottom edge of the safe. So the frame of the safe is below, just by a little bit, below 
this floor. So you're not, as you're, as you're taking a weapon out, you're not going to ding it up uh, on the frame of the safe. Their door organizer is a really high quality, it's really, um, it's ballistic nylon. I think that's what it's called anyway. But it's, it's thicker. It's, it's pretty nice. Like it's not thin and cheap. It's all, it feels really nice. All kinds of different um, mesh bags and little pockets. These pockets down here are for the butt of a uh, weapon, long gun. You can put it down here and then just Velcro in your barrel up there, right? So you can store two, two weapons on the door itself. Light kit comes with it, and that's an LED motion-operated light kit. Your fire cladding on these is like a concrete material, and uh, you get two, two fire seals. So there's one, there's one here, and then one on the door. So one here. This is your intumescent seal, and this one is more of a foam seal just to keep uh, smoke and moisture out. Bolt holes down here. These little covers are, are to get to our anchor holes. But um, even the floor has the same amount of the dry light poured in type fire insulation. And that's, that's also different. So we have a panel out here. This is steel. And then, of course, the panel on the outside of the safe. So in between that, they pour in a seamless pour of dry light concrete type material. Now, it's not concrete. So a lot of folks, will, you know, and I think I've mentioned, I've said it's concrete. It's really not concrete, but it's, it sets up a little bit like concrete. Like it's, it's pretty hard. You know, you can't really scrape it with your fingernail or anything. You can take a chisel or something to chip it all out of there. And that's, that's what I like about it is that if we're trying to get into this, we're, we probably aren't going to try to go through the front door because we've got a half inch plate door here. So a full half inch plate, an inch and an eighth of concrete, that dry light, concrete type information. <laughs> I always get a comment or two about that. Like, hey, it's not concrete. It's like, okay. Anyway, I understand that, but it sets up kind of like concrete in that what I mean by that is if we're trying to cut a hole in this side of this safe, which would be probably the easiest way to access a safe, most safes anyway, if we're trying to get in there, we have to cut away this panel, then chip out all that dry light insulation, and then we'll have the inner panel in here to contend with, right? So this is all steel here. So it would be quite a job. And when I'm not saying it's not possible, sure, if you want it bad enough, have at it, right? You're going to get in. We can't really stop anybody, but we can slow them down. And that's the name of the game here. So anyway, those are just some of the features that, um, that I really like about American security. So I thought I'd just go over some of those and... Uh, Maybe help you decide on a safe. Hey, thanks for having a look. Any comments? Leave them below. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Thanks.